my generation of urbanists, uh, whether planners, architects, or engineers, didn't pay much attention to culture except as a kind of garnish. It was a highly technocratic training at which people strained in my generation at the bit. People spent much more time on planning regulation than they did on what a good city looks like. Usually the culture around a place is cleared away so that the magnificence of the building can be seen like a jewel being dangled. But here, there is a different approach to it. This is much more urban. It takes more effort and sometimes more money to make a building, a big new structure like this, in context. The iconic part of this building rises far above what you could see from the street. Do you see that the, the, it begins to slope in uh, at the point at which it leaves this context? I mean, what happens when you, when you put something in context like this yes. is that you draw economic strength from what's around it. Whereas if you build something that's just a, a kind of magnificent monument to itself, you know, it doesn't draw any kind of economic stimulation from what's around it. Now here is a more problematic space. That's Suffolk Cathedral, very, very emblematic, but they haven't built this building in a way to bring that unbelievable urban event, which is the cathedral, to make it visible here. If an architect were to, to work with a painter, for instance, a painter would say, why are we blocking this? What, 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 what does this look like? That's my main concern now in urban planning, is how to get rid of that shrine ideology and put something else in its place. The, the problem is that culture and tourism are growing closer and closer together. And tourism depends not so much on investing in people as, um, who, are, who are makers, as investing in products which can then be displayed uh, for people to see as one of the sights of a city. The great um, example in my mind of this is in Hamburg, which built uh, an amazing symphony hall called the Elbe Philharmonie. The city, as a consequence, is broke. Shoved all of its capital into this concert hall, and as for supporting local artists in uh, Hamburg, it's pretty much off the picture. They put all of their resources into this one building. It takes a different kind of policy. Uh, how to get as many students, for instance, to go to museums, uh, concerts. You'd spend more time on, on those kinds of projects for the children of citizens than focusing on an event with global glitter. Global glitter has, uh, you can't have both global glitter and sort of civic culture. If I had a choice, between building an art museum and funding a thousand painters, I know the choice I would make.